We have come here to Vijnana Bhairava, Osho's Vijnana Bhairava Meditation 63. When vividly, what do you mean by vividly? When vividly aware, what do you mean by vividly? Very clearly, aware means what? Awareness. When vividly aware, through some particular sense, sense means what? Five sense organs are there. What are the five senses? Seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, tasting. So, when vividly aware through some particular sense, keep in the awareness, be in the awareness. When vividly aware through some particular sense, keep in the awareness. So, this is the 63rd meditation. So, dear friends, when vividly aware through some particular sense, keep in the awareness. See, we senses are there, isn't it? You see, by eyes or through eyes. You see, by eyes or through eyes. We see through eyes, isn't it? See, the seer is different, seen is different, and in between eyes is there. So, when you look at somebody, when you look at something, you do not look by eyes. When you look by eyes, there is no seer inside. You look at everything. It is a dead look. Nobody is there. When you see through the eyes, you are aware of certain things. Can you hear by ear? Can you hear by ear? No. You can hear through ears because ears as such will not be able to hear. It is only the person inside you, the center, which can hear you. Eyes cannot see. It is not possible. A person inside you sees through the eyes. Smelling. Only when you are inside you can smell. Nose cannot smell. Nose is a, just a organ, sense organ. The tongue it can just, it cannot be tasteful unless you put your soul inside the tongue. Somebody is there inside you who can taste. The tongue alone does not taste. Even the touch, even the touch, Unless you are behind the touch, the touch becomes a dead touch. Have you seen some person? You just experience within yourself. You touch somebody with full awareness. You are putting all your soul and energy in you and touching. And if the other person is sensitive, he will feel the touch. Suppose you withdraw yourself from the touch. You are touching, but you are not touching. You are touching, not touching means what? You are not putting yourself in the touch. Then if the other person is very sensitive, you will understand that touch is a dead touch. Able to understand. Daily you see everything by your eyes. There is no person inside you to be aware. Awareness is not there. So everything you are seeing, nothing is registered. Everything looks real. You hear a lot of things. Nothing you are hearing through the ears. Every sound is coming. You are tasting everything. You are eating. Nothing is tasted. There is nobody to taste. It is just becoming mechanical. Isn't it? So, who is able to understand whether the touch is a dead touch or a lively touch? Usually, women are good in that. You know, they are they will be easily understand. They can easily understand whether the touch has love, whether the touch has the feeling, whether the person has put the touch inside it. See, uh, you may have a lover, you may have your wife or you may have a husband. Now, we are speaking about women. Women are very sensitive about touch. Even children, they are very sensitive about their touch. You may say, I love you to your beloved. You can buy gifts to them, flowers and everything. When you touch, 
they will be able to understand whether the touch is there, whether you are behind the touch or you are just touching just for the name's sake. You cannot cheat women. Only if you are a master and expert you can cheat them and generally masters will not marry. That is one thing speciality about the masters, masters will not marry. So, here when you look at somebody, see you are looking at me, right? You are just seeing me. You can have two types of seeing, just seeing by eyes and seeing me through your eyes. When you see through my eyes, you can see the say, personality a person is sitting here. Okay, six, five and a half feet tall, uh, aged about some age. It has a different complexion, he speaks something. So, you can see when you are looking through the eyes and the ears, what is they, what are they doing? When you listen or hear by your ears, nothing happened. You have to put your soul inside. So, the ears get some messages and I, am, I put a perfume, I smell and your nose get a smell. So, all these senses, sense organs gathers the information. Mind you, this eyes and ears and tongue and nose and the hand feeling touch, everything gathers information and the gathered information is sent to the center. That center is you. That center, what happens? That center interprets everything. What meaning is it? So, it comes to a conclusion, right? Ears and eyes have not met each other. They don't know each other. Eyes has not met your ears. This is different, this is different. Your tongue is different, your nose is different, your hand is different. All five are different, different. The soul inside you, the, the center within you, all these messages are going there and those messages are interpreted by you and you can understand what it is. See, the senses are transmitters. What is transmitters? Getting the message and sending. It just stay station, just like a railway station. People come down and get up like that. It is a station. It is a medium. It is just an organ which gathers the information and passes on to you. So, all the five senses are doing it, five different types of varieties of things. Coordinating each other, coordinating means what? Arranging each other and sending the message inside you. That becomes your center. See, when you are looking at somebody, you are looking through the eyes, isn't it? When you look through the eyes, what happens? In India or anywhere, it is unmannerly. What is unmannerly? A girl comes or a boy comes, I just look at them deeply. What happens? It is considered to be unmannerly, it is not manners. Because when you look at them like this, what happened? You are interfering inside them, isn't it? You are going deep inside them. When you give a deep look, you can go deep inside that eyes. Who is allowed to look deep through the eyes? Only the lovers. Lovers are permitted because lovers already, when he looks, she is expecting or he is expecting her to give a look. Go deep inside that. So, to touch the person inside you. So, that person looks and this person looks in front of a lover. What happens? You are completely naked. You don't know anything. Completely naked. And he looks at your eyes and you look at the eyes. So, both are no difference at all. Each penetrating each other. But, for a stranger you cannot look, isn't it? For stranger if you look, what happens? <coughs> it is considered to be bad thing. In Hindi or in India, what they say is, uh, they say alucha, I think so, alucha, alucha. Uh, Lukan means uh, eyes, uh, alucha means uh, seer, lucha means uh, the fellow who sees everybody like this so deeply. So, it is considered to be unmannerly. So, how to practice this? See, one way we are telling this, you have to see through the eyes. Seeing through the eyes at somebody, then it will become mannerless, isn't it? So, how do you practice this? You take a tree, you take a flower, you take a uh, anything like trees and flowers, a rose flower. Just see that, look at it, penetrate it 
and you see through the eyes and you will experience. After that you can experience with your lover, your wife or your mother or your brother or sister. If not, you can take a child, look deep inside the eyes. The children are very, very sensitive. They can understand uh, what you are doing. They are looking and they will fall in love with you. So as you keep on practicing, what happens? You become highly mannered. So anybody comes, you through, look through the eyes and just take it in a decent way. But you have to look through the eyes. And the ears, you have to look through, hear through your ears. So when music is put on, don't be with the ears alone. Ears alone should not hear the music. Deep inside you should hear and you should get involved in that. When you are touching somebody, you have to put the energy should be flowing through your hand. And when that energy is passed on, that uh, touch would be giving a life and would be a lively touch. But generally what happens is very difficult to look through the eyes in each and every way, morning to night. Look through the eyes is very difficult. You are seeing by eyes, that's all you can do. Because when you look through the eyes, it is very strainful. When you hear through the ears, it is very strainful. So we have, what we, what we do, we are not bothered to see through the eyes and hear through your ears and taste through, your, through our tongue. So that happens and the resultant is what? You are in ignorance. Ignorance means what? You are not, not, not fully aware. So this ignorance leads to your sleepiness. So you are not aware. So whatever is there, your eyes are seeing and you think it is all real. You are getting confused. You are not clear. Whether it is an interview, you go to an interview, you meet your customer, you meet your manager, Unless when your center is there and the center is able to see through all these things, when your sense organs were able to send the messages and when your center is able to correlate and coordinate all the messages which are transmitted through the sense, you are deemed to be a confused person unless it is. So try practicing looking through the eyes and looking through your hearing through your ears tasting through your tongue and touching through the hand. That's why many of the love, failure, husband and wife, you know, almost they will be fighting each other. Up to the time of love, everything is alright. After love, what happens? Problem happens. Why? In his touch, he is not touching through his hand. There is just formality is touching. The wife can understand or the husband can understand. The way he speaks, uh, there is no life in it. He is not putting his center. So he or she can understand when life is not there in the touch, when the life is not there in seeing, when life is not there when speaking, then what happens? When life is not there, it is dead. Then the relationship is dead. In the beginning, everything is fine because he is totally aware. But to be totally aware always is very strainful. At times he goes back or she goes back, then the problem starts, the fight starts. Because you are not totally aware. You cannot blame. See, once she loved like this, once she loved, loved at me like this, once my father was so loving, now he is not loving because it changes. Because he cannot be and it is possible but, but they think it is strainful. So be aware and when you are being aware what happens? When you are being aware what happens? When you are seeing through the eyes, when you are hearing through the ears, when you are tasting the food through the mouth, when you are touching through the hand, and all the messages are going inside and you are interpreting your being is there. The person behind you, the seer, the known, the knower inside you. What happens? Seer, hearer, then toucher, sensor, taster. When all the persons are there, all the messages are there. So when he is aware, then what happens? The world will be looking at, you will be looking at the world and the world will be looking like everything is changing. Nothing is real. So world becomes an illusion. For the eyes which are, which is just seeing, the world looks real. Very real means what? It is permanent. This is there, that is there. No, everything is changing. When you are fully aware and when you look at the world, the world looks completely different. So whether it is an interview or whether it is in job, 
or whether it is in your relationship, whether it is uh, between husband and wife, this awareness and putting yourself behind all the senses, that is the success formula, right sir? Okay, just close your eyes and sit erect and just meditate. Just imagine seeing somebody through you, tasting something through you, through your tongue, hearing something through the ears, touching somebody through your hands and you are the person who is behind the so-called the energy. Without that, it becomes dead. All the senses which gathers information is dead and it is unable to transmit the message to the center and you being the center, when you are unable to correlate, then all that your awareness is not there and only in ignorance you are there. So be aware when you are seeing, touching, feeling, tasting, smelling. Do this meditation daily.